Hey everyone, it's Jesse from the Pathways to Wellness team. Today we're going to talk about language and the role it plays in developing a good relationship with things like movement, eating, and even self-care. Uh, language is something that we're very mindful of uh, when working with people in the InShape program that are trying to make significant life overhauls in regards to the habits um, that they have. And a lot of it comes down to their own implicit bias, um, you know, what they've learned growing up. And some of those words that we really are mindful of using in certain contexts are things like um, diet, things like even exercise is a word that we're mindful of, um, don't, can't, um, things like fat, protein, uh, carbs, you know, they all carry a very rigid definition for certain people. And it can be hard to allow some of that flexibility and actually understand, you know, what we are truly trying to do. So with like eating, you know, I had mentioned, you know, diet, fat, protein, carbs as certain words that we really look at avoiding. And the reason being is, you know, diet is whatever you eat at a, you know, on a habitual basis, you could have a top about diet if that's all you eat now most people when they hear the word diet are not thinking that they're thinking reducing limiting avoiding restrictive right so we want to learn how to use better choices of words like i'm trying to be more intentional about the amount of vegetables i eat during the day i'm trying to be conscious about the types of protein that i'm choosing um, those are all very loose terms because, you know, we can accomplish a lot of those um, and build up some positive reinforcement instead of, you know, again, a very rigid definition that if we fail to accomplish it, you know, we're not going to work on establishing that good relationship. And even things like, you know, exercise, you know, clearly we're trying to exercise, but that is something that is oftentimes looked at as this very structured, defined, rigid type of movement. It's done inside of a gym. It's a certain movement. It's done during a certain time where really we just want to encourage movement. You know, exercise is gardening. It's going to the compost site. It's uh, going to the dump to, you know, drop off a bunch of trash that you've collected. It is movement. And we exercise all throughout the day. Now, it may not be a structure, but it is movement. So we try to replace that word with something like movement or intentional movement is a big one that we like to use. And this goes on to a lot of different things. It goes into really all aspects of life. But language does matter, and it really matters for certain people that are trying to develop that relationship with good eating habits, good movement, good self-care. So if you're in this, you know, journey yourself and you're looking at, you know, what is your relationship? What are some hangups? I encourage you to look at the language you're using with yourself. And are they rigid? Or do they leave some room for interpretation so that you can give yourself some flexibility and give yourself that positive reinforcement that you need? Any questions about this, reach out to myself, Ronnie, one on the wellness team, and make sure you check out our YouTube page for more videos like this.